Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of testicular hematoma and microlithiasis. A 27 years old male patient came with the history of blunt trauma with wooden particle to the left side of the scrotum. The patient was brought to the emergency and there was no skin abrasion. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Hey, you can see the right testis. It looks normal in size and shape, but you can see multiple tiny hyperechoic foci casting cometal artifacts. These hyperechogenic foci are diffusely arranged and there is no cluster arrangement. On color Doppler, you can't see any definite vascular abnormality. Here's the left testis. It also shows hyperechoic tiny foci casting comital artifacts. But you can see some hypoechoic stripes here. And if you look at the anterior border, you can see an irregularity of the tunica albuginea with some irregularity of the adjacent parenchyma and some hypotoanechoic collection. On color Doppler, you can see increased vascularity at the anterior part of the testis adjacent to that irregularity, indicating localized inflammatory reaction. So this irregularity is due to the hematoma at this point. You can see some adjacent collection within the left hemiscrotal sac. Here on magnification, you can see this irregularity with hypotoanechoic collection quite better. Here's the upper part of the left testis and you can see the collection adjacent to the epididymal head. Here's the comparison and you can see both testis look almost same with diffusely arranged tiny hyperechoic foci casting cometal artifacts indicating microlithiasis and you can see some collection surrounding the left testis indicating reactionary hydrocele. The overall skin looks quite normal. However, the left one is slightly thicker than the right one. Here's the picture of the right testis and you can see diffuse microlithiasis. Here's the left one. You can see some hypoechoic stripes and tiny ecogenic foci arranged throughout the testicular parenchyma without any cluster arrangement. And here you can see the irregularity of the tunica albuginea as well as the adjacent testicular parenchyma with some irregular hypotoanechoic collection indicating the hematoma at that area. Here is again this hematoma with irregularity. Here is the magnified image and you can see this irregularity with hematoma and distortion of the adjacent parenchyma. Here is a slight comparison between the right and left testes and you can see this irregularity with collection quite clear here. So in summary, discrete punctate non-shadowing hyperechoic foci diffusely scattered throughout the bilateral testicular parenchyma with comatal artifacts indicating bilateral testicular microlithiasis. There is an irregularity of the tunica albuginea with underlying small collection within the anterior margin of the left testis with localized hypervascularity on Doppler and left hemiscrotal mild collection indicating left testicular hematoma. Now the take home message, the clusters of testicular microliths may represent testicular tumor without even the presence of soft tissue mass on ultrasound. Clusters of microliths adjacent to a solid mass will suggest it as a case of germ cell tumor. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video. I'm very sorry for the very poor quality of audio today. There are some construction work going on in my home so it's a little bit difficult to record there so i just need to record it with my laptop microphone for the next a few days i think
I'll try to record on my microphone, but it may not be possible. So expect some very poor quality sound for next few guest videos. Hopefully you'll consider. See you on the next one. Thank you.